I don't know if this was worth it. Like, the 6.4 and the 6 liter blocks are the same, so you use the 6.4 engine mount and just bolt them onto the 6 liter block and then whoop, down in the frame it goes, no problem there. The problem is when you get to the intercooler and the radiator. And I still haven't built my my support yet, it's just kind of dangling in there and resting on the frame, but the radiator is too wide uh, to fit between the frame rails. And the body radiator support rail thing is, is totally different. And you can't use the 6.4 radiator and intercooler because it's like a foot wider and gets in the way of the air box. And then you'd have to relocate the air box and all the, the lines and just everything's just completely whacked. So you have to use the, the 6 liter radiator and intercooler set up somehow. So yeah, it's running and driving now. Everything's full of fluid and hooked up, but I do have to make some sort of a, a, a mount down at the bottom here to hold up the radiator and then something to hold the, the intercooler. And then the intercooler li uh, hoses, these pipes here, um, you have to lengthen them a little bit because everything sits tilted. Anyway. This engine's bulletproofed and obviously chipped up. You know, it spins the tires rolling down the road. It's pretty crazy. And I think it was worth it for this truck. The truck's clean enough. It needs a little front end work, but it's got a really, really nice frame. And aside from a uh, ball joint issue, it's pretty good. And I did put a manual transfer case into it for simplicity because I don't want to figure out how to make that work. There's a, there's a computer and like like a two-page wiring diagram just for the 4x4 electric transfer case. So screw that. Your 6-liter throttle pedal is different. You have to bolt that in. But that's really all the hard stuff. Uses the same 5R110 transmission. And I figured the blocks were the same, so yeah. That's a 6-liter in the place of a 6.4.